Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of Erin's Expeditions, where we talk everything Christ and entertainment. I'm your host, Erin Patience, and today we are here with V. V. All right, V, if you could please tell me, what do you do? Oh my gosh, I'm just <laughs> living life because I'm just a girl. <laughs> I'm just a girl. <laughs> um, oh gosh, I never got this question. Okay, mm. I am. A sound engineer. Okay. Firstly, yes, I am a born again Christian child of Period. God. Period. First, before everything else, <laughs> I am that. Um, I am currently mm-hmm. also a podcast host. Yeah, we just shot one on mm-hmm. my my segment. Peak. I am youth. Yes, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I am a sound engineer, mm. and yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just awesome. living life. So you're with also within like the creative space. And yes, everything. yes, right. absolutely. I feel like I should also say that I am an actress and a filmmaking major. Yeah. So um, creative spaces, let's go. go. <laughs> Please. So since this is the first episode, I thought that let's start at the beginning. Yes. At the genesis of it all. Yes. See what it is. <laughs> so I really want to talk about God as a creator. Oh. And what it means for us as Christian creatives. So, if you could please share a testimony where your creativity on a project was almost like a collaboration with God. Okay, firstly, I'm sorry, I know this is not the question. Mm. But um, before I can get to that, I think I would have to share also my testimony in being here how do yes how i got Mm. to being comfortable being creative yeah um i think a lot of the times growing up we have in some churches not all but in some churches um most of the time it's like you need to be creative in this manner doing this and only if it's you can do things to glorify god right Mm -hmm. and you can do things for God's house. So yeah. in most cases, being creative, it's only seen that you need to do this. Mm-hmm. If you're going to be dancing, you need to only be dancing in the church. If mm-hmm. you're going to be singing, you only need to be in the worship team. So for me, I think that was the biggest struggle because I didn't think, and I, I could, again, I always say I'm down mm-hmm. for correction if I am wrong. Yeah. But I don't believe there's a just a linear way that we are supposed to be creative. Yeah, so that is... A struggle it's something that I struggled with very yeah. early on where I felt like Lord I don't think 100% you are calling me just to be creative inside the church yeah because I always felt like there was a biggest kind of space that God wanted me to go into yeah. but because also sometimes in the church it's like you need to do be in the worship team be in this the mm. dance team and whatever you start to think is that the only thing yeah so then I went back and forth and I had to spend time with God to know what God wants from my life and how he wants to use my creativity for his glory. So (laughs) um, it took a while. I think Mm -hmm. it literally took me leaving high school and finally understanding what God wants. But also in that I was, there was a phase Mm -hmm. where I was confused (laughs) and then I thought, okay, (laughs) Lord, I'm not going to do anything for you completely. And then I'm going to do entertainment or creativity in whatever and see where that Mm. takes me right um but even in growing closer to god that helped me understand where god wanted me to to be so so true a lot of the times i would also find myself in spaces where um because i'm in sound a lot of the times oh it's a very tricky situation because we Mm. know how the entertainment industry is as a whole and the majority Mm. of it is not of christ oh yeah um so Topic for another day. Yes, hey? <laughs> another <laughs> podcast topic. Um, but when I was at school, especially, mm. you would have to because I was in a creative school like you. A yeah. lot of the stuff were practical, and a lot of stuff are you work in a team, yeah. and you might be the only Christian in that yeah. team. And I would be in spaces mm. where they would give us roles, like we would be. They say create a song from start to finish, yeah. record it, and mix mm. it right, and master it right. Yeah. And then everyone has a role, especially in the beginning, the recording process. You are the writer, you're the sound engineer, you're the Mm. vocalist and all of that stuff. Wait, so you guys had to make like, like music. Sorry guys. Um, so Cam just went off, but V. Battery problems. V. (laughs) Why look this way? V fixed it for us. (laughs) Yay, creativity. (laughs) Striving for it. 
So um, I was saying, sorry. Yeah. I was saying that because I was in a creative mm. school, we had to collaborate with a lot of people. And a yeah. lot of times I found myself as the only Christian person yeah. in the room. So they want to be like, so drugs, money. And you want to yeah. be like, Jesus loves. <laughs> exactly. So I found myself a lot of times having um, to stand firm in what I believe in, yeah. in my creativity and say, I don't agree with what we're saying. So I cannot yeah. sing about that. Because in most times, they would have also like a sign yeah the songwriting role to someone i was just mm, the voice like yeah. you know so sometimes certain people f- write their own personal mu- personal music yeah. in certain ways and that doesn't align with me yeah and i never wanted things that are not aligning with who i am and who i follow mm. to have my name on it yeah. or my voice and right? it's a difficult thing eh? it's very difficult so i think a lot of the time in the beginning of my degree i struggle with that yeah. right but then as time went, um, I just wanted people who, I, I think I had to stretch myself mm. as a creative yeah. to learn also new skills. Yeah. If that means me improving on my songwriting skills for me to get yeah. this thing done, then that's what it has to be, yeah. right? So I think where God, mm. me and God collaborated on, on something was... Oh, I have to think, I don't know, hey, where does it all begin? I think, like, if you could, like, mention, like, one project where it felt so tangible that God is working with you in it. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, specifically, like, Christian-based. But let's mm. say, for example, like, I don't know, just finding a chord for a song. Mm. And you were like, Lord, what on earth are we going to do? Like... The hamsters are running, but not on a wheel. They're just running yes. at this point. Like, I have a very unconventional mm. way of describing me and God's creativity yeah. working together. I think I've experienced this for the first time in my second year of university. A lot of my assignments in university, especially the ones at yeah. the very end of the semester, mm. I would always feel like the enemy was attacking me. And in that space, I would always be fasting. Mm. Because I'm like, okay, I'm closing off the, the semester the way I started with God mm. and all of that. And then I would feel attacked. The things would always go wrong yeah. until the very end, literally, sure. um, of my Liz. degree. But anyway, <laughs> so there was one time where uh, we did a project. We are supposed to record together. And then mm. after recording, you do everything else on your own. Yeah. So I open my file. There's stuff missing. And then there is a way that you could recover the stuff. Mm. But that way is not working at all. Okay. So I'm just like, okay, what's going on? So I'm like, you always like, they teach you a lot of the times mm. to figure out a pro- like how to solve the problem yeah so i then thought okay let me go to someone who has the project files yeah. and get the recorded audio that is missing imported into the session mm. and it sh- it will work yeah right logically it works um anyone i think in sound will know that it could it works it works y'all it works <laughs> in my case it didn't work it like, doesn't work for everyone, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I just, that's when I knew. Because even when I went and asked Yo. lecturers what to do, they were just like, I don't understand what's going on. Because it's like, you know. And the then, weapons were forming against you. No, girl, they were forming against me on a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> and I literally remember Yo. going to mm. the bathroom and praying. And I said, Lord, mm. I don't care how mm. it's going to happen. But you're going to give me a solution. Mm. Things are going to work out and whatever. And the thing is, my, the basic, um, the, 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 can I, oh, how do I explain it? The way the song was recorded, all mm. of us needs to be the same, right? Yeah. In terms of, you have to rec- have three instruments in the recording. Mm. You have to have a vocal. You have to have, uh, like there were certain yeah. specifications, right? So for me, I can't mm. now go, it's due tomorrow. I can't go and record. Yeah. And the thing is, studios yeah. are booked, pre-booked and all of that yeah. stuff. So then I'm just like, I, yeah. and also I live in Pretoria. My school was in job work. Like I need to yeah. do this right now or it's over. Yeah. And I remember going to the bathroom. I'm like, Lord, I don't care how this is going to happen. But a way you're going to make, please, But there is a Jesus. way that you are going to take way over. Make miracle work, work. Promise keeper. <laughs> I said, God, you're going to do something. I don't know what you're going to do, but you're going to do something. It do be like that. I opened the project again. I'm sitting there. Still nothing has changed. And then I listened Ew. throughout the whole song. And I said, you know what? Mm. 
And I've never worked like this ever. Yeah. I told you that I specialized in studio production yeah. and audio post production. So mm. audio post production is like you also deal with sound design. So yeah. all this time I've been separating my brain into mm. those two aspects. I've yeah. I haven't really thought about bringing those two worlds together, right? Uh, Did I not sit there and listen to like the instruments that were like mm. okay, so what would happen is a portion of the recording would mm. m go missing. Yeah. So I would have the chorus of the song mm -hmm. with this instrument, yeah. but the second verse wouldn't have that instrument. Yeah. So then I had to figure out, okay, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. Did I not apply? I said, Lord, take over. God is like, dude, just take. I got you. I cut, got cut, you. cut, 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 paste. Cut, yeah. cut, cut. But like, so that's the thing. It's like, it's like the moment you're like, Lord, I can't. He's literally like, okay, okay, now I can. Yes, now you can. He can kick in. All this Amen. time when I was focusing on my mm. own capabilities yeah i was freaking out i was like yeah. there's no way i could fix this yeah. no one is even trying to no one knows what is wrong with my session like yeah. nobody knows yeah right and granted guys i tried everything i even tried <laughs> to go to the original excuse me go to the studio yeah. where i got the session right yeah this is how i knew it was the enemy mm. i got a whole different new session yeah. i deleted the old one got the new one in yeah. studio put it on a hard drive went back to where I was working in yeah. the lab, put my hard drive in, same result, different project. Like it's the same project, but I mean, yeah. the one I was working on, I deleted. Yeah. Went to get it fresh so from like where I it. record it. Wait, so like, so like you, you had it, then you deleted it to get the new one. Yes. So that the I don't one didn't work. Up. Yes. The new one had the exact same oh problem. My days. So then that's when I realized that when I'm trying to figure this out on my own, nothing's yeah. working nobody even knows what's going on yeah. nobody can explain to me what the problem is um so when i went mm. only when i went and said lord take over i don't know how to do this yeah. he gave me the creativity mm. to and listen here guys i can't play an instrument to save my life <laughs> most of the people who can play an instrument like went, i asked you i asked yes. you i was like you play an instrument you're like i said girl i i can't <laughs> the only instrument that i know how to use is my voice that's the one god gave me right amen yeah. <laughs> so I was just like, mm, I don't know what's going on. Sing a so, song there, please. No, please. please. <laughs> um, so I literally, God gave me a new creativity mm. of putting, I literally cut and pasted different chords. Yeah. Put them together. Yeah. Together. It went with the bass, the bass, like the, what I was working on yeah. was an electric guitar. It yeah. went with the melody and the beat and the, the, yeah. the, the, the groove of the bass guitar. Yeah. And it was perfect. When I got marked, the person didn't even realize the 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 the, yeah. the teacher didn't realize that I created my yeah. own my like own that's thing. That's the thing because last year we had to do like a directed movement piece, mm. and I've been planning on an idea since my second year, mm. and I was like, Lord, I don't know who I want to use, but almost like make like a light shine, shine over them, them mm. when I know okay it's them, mm. and that entire process of like the three people that I decided on. Mm. And I was like, I was just thinking about two. Why do I have three? Mm. And then just how, like I would literally, before every rehearsal, I would get to class earlier mm. and I'd be like, Lord, what are we doing today? Mm. The beginning, the middle, I need music. Okay, please put whatever songs you know will work mm -hmm. on my heart so I can figure it out. Mm. And just like... um before they did their final like exam performance, mm. I told them, I was like, y'all, the moment you step onto that stage, it's holy ground. Mm -hmm. Like what you are sure. doing is a, is a way of worship. It's a form mm. of worship. And it didn't clock up until later that everyone, <laughs> sorry, <girl. laughs> no problem. Mm -hmm. Like everyone in my group were Christians. Really? Yeah. Jeez. And I didn't even clock that up until like this one rehearsal where I was like, guys, what's happening? Mm. Like, let's let's pick up the energy. Mm. We got this because we're not doing this out of our own strength. Yeah. And that moment I was like, Lord, I've never felt so close to you sure. in making something. something. So, yeah, I want to read you a quick quote that I found on the Gospel Coalition. <laughs> So Look. it's all about like creation and God's the creator and everything. Mm. So it says here, in creation, we see God's lordship on display in his control over all things, his authority over the universe and his presence in every part of creation. Sure. So like things that stood out for me was his lordship 
Oh Lord, mm-hmm. his lordship, Lord. his authority, his control, but also his presence. Mm. That that indicates that not only is God here mm. making these things, like setting everything into motion, mm. but it's also here yeah. as everything is in motion. Yeah. And I'm like, God, what? It's, it's what? Two things that I've learned as, oh, as well man, in the creative man creative space is that mm. we tend to forget that god is the original creator Amen. like creative the og he is so there's no way he doesn't know how that operates yeah. right yeah so and like we are introduced to him as the creator as the creator exactly that's yeah. what i'm saying so god knows about creative creativity yeah. if you need creativity you're supposed to go there so yeah. therefore i think recently I've learned that over the years that also because we always say that God doesn't enter your life. Like God is, someone told mm. me this, God God is a gentleman. He Not doesn't just level. enter and just barge mm. in and sit in your heart and be like, what's yeah. up, right? Yeah. He only enters when you invite him yeah. into, into your heart. And it's the same as in your creativity. Yeah. If you do not invite him there, um, then... There's no way that you and God mm. can work on something together yeah. creatively. Yeah. So I think that's another thing that I have also have been like trying to go back and forth in because I am in a very tricky yeah. situation in my life where I do feel like God has called me into something specific in the creative space. Yeah. He's called me to multiple things, but there's a specific area in my life where I feel like God has called me. Yeah. Right. But I, I still haven't figured out how to go about it and yeah. i've had to be like lord i don't know mm. if maybe maybe i heard wrong and maybe you didn't say that yeah. i should go into the space and i don't want to go into it prematurely yeah. right so i need you to help me with my creativity i don't mm. want to rely on myself yeah and then do something that doesn't even represent yeah. you i might not be quoting the verse mm. but I don't. I can't put out something that is opposite of what you say. Ooh. Yo. And wait a that, minute. Yo. <laughs> that is like one thing that is struggling. Like for example, mm. I can give you an example. Like I said, um, I, 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 the instrument that I have is my voice, right? Mm. I can make. I can make gospel music. Yeah. Right. I can't do that. Um, but they, I don't think everyone is called to that specifically. A That's lot of people true, are, right? Because like, like at church people would be like oh you sing join the worship team and i'm like yes okay but it's not a calling yeah the same way that you were called to be a worship leader the same way that you were called into these spaces that's how i am called into like something honoring and glorifying god in acting for you in sound for you well for you (laughs) well like for you (laughs) and for you (laughs) in like all of these spaces because god is omnipotent omnipresent so He's not just in, like, you know, the One music way. of church or, like, whatever. Yes. But, like, he's in all of these spheres. Yes. And I also want to read Genesis 128. Ooh, 128. Genesis 1. Oh, it is. 128. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you uh, were yeah, yeah, 128. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, what? <laughs> so it says here that, and God blessed them, Adam and Eve, mm-hmm. um, and said to them, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over every living thing that moves on earth. Mm. And I think if that is God's, like, if that is what God told us to do Mm. and we're made in his image, Image. then surely there has to be a collaboration Mm. with God. Mm Because how how can it just be, okay, go go into the world be fruitful, multiply. Mm. And we're like, huh? Mm-hmm. You know, so there has to be this, like this cognitive cab- oh, collaboration mm. with Christ, mm. knowing that, hey, Lord, I can only do as much as I can. Mm. I need you to take the loaves and the fish and you are the one who will to multiply. multiply. Mm. And then even like taking that into account is that every single one was blessed mm. by that. And they were still left over mm. so a big thing is that because you know being in the creative space 
it means you have to be vulnerable. Mm. Like one of my friends, I told him because he's going through something with music or his mm. studies and everything. And I told him, if you want to go into a creative space, you need to know that you are bearing your soul mm. in front of people mm. in order to tell a story, mm. whether it is in sound. Because now, like you, you are sitting there in your vulnerability, being like, okay, what works, what doesn't what work, and you need to be so in tune with the product in front of you. Mm. The same for an artist, like a painter or mm. a sculptor or sculptor, mm -hmm. sculptor, a sculptor, <laughs> um, to be vulnerable. But I think that is where we need to bring Christ into, into the equation. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because as he is the lion, he's the lamb as well. Yeah. You I know? think also I saw, again, I, I've mentioned this before, but mm. um, in the church we think that it, sometimes all our gifts are just for the church. Yeah. And that is so selfish. Yeah. To be honest, that's how mm. I see it. Because it's like, I do think sometimes our gifts and our creativity ca is is supposed to also be used yeah. to to go and create disciples with yeah. whatever and also, like, it there are people who needs to be reached yes that's what i mean yeah like sometimes you f come across people who don't want to hear you speak and say jesus is lord mm. like not everyone yeah. gets to christ in that manner yeah. some people get to christ like i'll give you an example mm. there's an uh, american olympia olympian She's she runs. I forgot. Simone Biles. Simone. <laughs> I was gonna say Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we talk about the same person. But is it the girl with like the nails and like her hair is done? No, 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 no. Never mind. <laughs> I'm talking about sh uh, this other lady. She's mixed race. I mm. forgot her name, mm. but she is uh, like she runs for the America, represents America yeah. in the Olympics, and I think she was in the relay squad and the 100 meter squad. I yeah. can't really remember, but. She said she felt like her calling was in running. Yeah. And people would be like, ugh, that's weird. Who runs and gets a calling? What are you running for? However, she mm. uses any time she has speaking time as well to mm. speak about God. Amen. When she won her gold yeah. medal and people are like, you broken records and mm. whatever, she said, I was not able to do it on my own. Yeah. Right? Yeah. God is the one who took over my body and yeah. was able to help me achieve this goal, yeah. right? So I think even in creativity as well, God is not like a one plus one is two in terms yeah. of um, make a song this way, this way, and this yeah. way, and that's how I'll reach people. I think that that beats the whole purpose of creativity yeah. because if God was a one kind of, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. I think we wouldn't have different kinds of trees. Yeah. We wouldn't have different kinds of flowers because yeah, there's like different... He's such like, he's so... Intricate, yeah, I can't even Intricate. speak today. <laughs> Intricate, Intricate. In yes, the way he makes things, and like, and I think that is why when people try to use science to disprove God, I'm like, mm. you know what, you're actually proving more of him, yes, like you are showing that because you know, like, you know, like everything created must have a creator. Mm -hmm. But now we are trying to use science. The thing science, that he created. The very thing. And <laughs> I heard this quote where the person said that we are trying to use science to disprove a God who gave us the science. brain to think further than our nose. Yes. But now we want to be like, hey, Lord, thank you so much for the knowledge. Therefore, I'm going to use it, it oh, um, to um, prove that you don't exist. And I'm like, What? What, like, like, I understand when people, you know, like, you are curious, you want to know mm. what's out there. But in that same breath, breath. Mm. like, like, yeah, my brain is just like, what? But what I also want to bring um, to light is that we have to be aware that as creatives, there's only one creator, as you said. Yes. But mainly it is that a Christian creative is merely a steward. Mm of what God has given us. Mm -hmm. I mean, he gives us all of these great radical ideas being like, hey, I want to make a film about a man on the moon mm -hmm. eating cheese. Mm. And then Michael Jackson rocks up mm -hmm. doing the moonwalk on the moon, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I don't know, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> but that it's mainly us being stewards yeah. of his creativity, yes. you know. Mm. So um, if you have like any like advice 
in terms of how to like just include God more in this space? I think this advice that I have applies to anything yeah. in life. But if it is so difficult um, with God, mm. then it's probably not what God wants. Yeah. Without God, things can be difficult. But mm. if you're including God into the process, then there isn't a reason why mm. something that he wants or a project that he wants would be... I don't know how to explain it. Let me... Yeah way that you should go to god about create being yeah. creative and creating a project i remember even i watched an interview years ago which yeah. was when i was struggling with whether or not creativity is from god yeah. but i watched a video of this artist called major i think yeah. it is and he mentioned that he went on a christian podcast and he's like yes i have a voice and yes i could have went into mm. the gospel route but that wasn't my calling yeah. personally god was calling me to make live songs mm. that don't go against what he says mm. about that aren't talking about um sexual immorality yeah. or, uh, or um those kind of things that god tells yeah. us to stay away from because yeah. sometimes you find love songs yeah. that are about that yeah. so he he said i knew or mm. i spoke to god about what he wants yeah. out of me he with the gift that he has given me and yeah. that is to make love songs yeah that even a christian person is able yeah. to consume but i feel like a lot of times because when i went into when i told my parents and people around me mm. i want to be an actress mm. immediately you were made with oh why you want to join satan's yes. playground and i'm like and then i was i was like yo Lord, but like I know the entertainment and everyone's like, oh, you can't go to Hollywood. I'm like, yes. I don't want to go to Hollywood. If I end up there, I know it has to be for his glory and yes, his glory and that's the alone. Only yes. But knowing that the same way that like Daniel like went to um, like the other kingdom and mm. he had to face all of those things, he still remained locked in with Christ. But how can we say that, you know, we want to be the salt and the light of the earth. That's what I always say. But you know, we have to go out there. Ooh. I can't just remain being salt Ooh. and light here with you. Yes. And then Mr. Jim Bob out there yeah. needs to hear the gospel of Christ. But I'm just like, I'm not made to be outside. Can I tell you, you something? Know? I have an unpopular opinion in the yeah. Christian community. Speak, girl. Um, I do think that sometimes we're not supposed to be in certain places. Oh, yeah, definitely. Right. Same. <laughs> but I do think that sometimes God can put you in certain places mm. for a certain reason. Yeah. I'll give you an example. I went to a university, a creative institution. Mm. And to be honest, I was probably one of very few. I could count. Yeah. I don't even remember interacting with a person that was Christian. Yeah. Maybe one. But it, I was mainly in spaces with people who are not Christian. Yeah. And they don't believe the same. Yeah, they believe same. that there's a God. But beyond that... <laughs> Me too, girl. Yeah. <gasps> so I would. I went to university. And yeah. when I started university, I was. it was a time where God had changed me. Yeah. Right? And I was like, Lord, I'm going to be... I'm going to make so much friends. And I'm yeah. changing my life. I've gotten rid of certain friends. And no, no, no. And I'm going to the space and I'm like, there's only one even looking for that one it yeah. was so difficult so i'm just like wait a minute yeah. i'm just here as the christian yeah. so then there was a time where i thought maybe it means that i should isolate myself <gasps> and then quick so oh. i would i would go to school go home yeah don't talk to me don't say anything i'm just going home because i don't mm. want to consume so much of the world and then i'm like yeah i like guess it's, it's just fine i'm gonna yeah. go home and there's another day that the the lord spoke to me and said I have worked on you for a time as this. Whenever Ooh. you wanted to, because there was a time where I wanted to get into the entertainment yeah. industry so bad. Yeah. However, I was not ready spiritually yeah. to be in rooms with people that have a different. Oh, my, I need to opinion. tell you a story about this. So, yeah. like, before I went um, to the institution where yeah. I went to, <laughs> um, I went to a Christian school for like mm -hmm. six months. So, mm -hmm. it was like, like during 2020. And I tell you, girl, that if God did not hone in into, you. into my character, into my being, I into my mind, use, I would have shot left. <laughs> left. <laughs> you would have seen me like. <laughs> and like, just that's so true because 
God tends to your character first mm. before he tends to your circumstances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the moment, like, as I told you, like, off, off camera, camera. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, like, when that blessing comes, mm. a blessing comes with a responsibility. Yes, absolutely. And all of that wrapped in a beautiful gift of obedience. Yeah. You know, but if my obedience to God blesses the people around me, yes. how much more will it bless me? Because mm. I'm the one who is accounting to God being like, Lord, I did with what you gave me. Yeah. I do it for your glory and your yeah. glory alone. Mm. So, yeah, man. That's what I'm saying. Sure. Like, even in my space, right? Mm. I was realizing that, okay, the years where I wanted this industry, mm. I wanted this, 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 was preparing me for this tour gate in my life. Yeah. Because obviously I'm not 100% in the entertainment industry, yeah. but I'm yeah. getting a glimpse of how it will look like. Yeah. Because if I'm going to a creative school with all these different characters, yeah. right? But everyone believes in God. Yeah. Everyone here is creative. And you need to remain firm, girl. Literally. That armor of God is... <clears throat> it needs to be glued on <laughs> with super glue, like gorilla glue super glue. Oh my God. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so... I realized and I was like grateful because mm. the Lord was saying, I'm not saying you should be isolated yeah. right now. I'm saying that this is the time where you are supposed to be the light. Yeah. And as much as a lot of the times people who feel like they want to do God's work and they feel like they need to help 10 million people yeah. for it to count. Yeah. However, it, you could have helped one person and that counts. Yeah. Right. So I think when I no. even stepped back and look at what God has done through me at the university that I was with, being around certain people, um, mm. I was able to put such a certain impact in their lives. It might yeah. not be like, That's like true. I don't know how to explain it, but let's say, yeah. like I'll give you an example. Mm. Some people would be like heavy smokers and yeah. whatnot, right? And I'd be like, I also mm. do this thing where I don't come to you as a holier mm. than thou Christian. Yeah. Just rock up being like, yeah, what's I'm up? like, okay, especially with people mm. that didn't smoke before all of yeah. them smoke. I ask since when have you been doing yeah. that and then after that they tell me and then I'm like and why do you think you started doing it Yo. and then they get to the bottom of like we start talking yeah. and it's very important as Christians that we also listen to people I know yeah. we're talking about something that is not about yeah. creativity, creativity mm. I'm sorry but um, because you listen mm. A person can do their own mathematical calculation. Yeah. They're like, okay, wait, hold on. Yeah. I wasn't doing this. I'm doing this because I'm trying mm. to escape this, like this and they this. Like as they speak, yeah, they realize, speaking, ah, I don't have I to even say cool. much. Oh, I have dang. to just ask you the right yeah. questions so that you can even listen to yourself yeah. speak. Because sometimes mm. when we're thinking about stuff, yeah. we can't hear it out loud and we process it differently. So, You're yeah, we, so the same way that, um, God can help. I do. That's why I believe that God is 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 a creative God, and creativity comes from Him. Yeah. Yes, the the enemy can use creativity yeah. for His yeah. um, good. We but see like, that in Hollywood a lot. And like and like, as you realize, it's literally just spinoffs off of God's truth. And I'm yes. like, yes, Satan, can you like try to be original? Yes. Oh, sorry, <laughs> you can't. Exactly. Wow. But also the other thing <laughs> is, I've realized that. Mm. Oh. Ugh. Oh, it's another topic. But anyway, <laughs> I've realized that even in that creativity mm. and the enemy coming into it yeah. and infiltrating creativity and making it his own, yeah. that has given people the excuse of saying, oh, this is just art. Yeah. Yo. And I, 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 I know a lot of the times yeah. we excuse people's actions with the fact with the statement. It's, it's just, just art. art. But the original artist yeah. created things with a purpose. Yo. So there is no way you're going to create something without a purpose. Yeah. Whether the purpose is good and to glorify God yeah. or like whether I, the purpose is bad. I literally wrote that down. Really? Oh, sorry. Yeah, because wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah, because like the thing about like, and I told you earlier, it's like mm. when God creates, he creates with purpose. Exactly. So now like when you invite him into your creative process and everything, it's important not to let it be like, okay, Lord, I am driving and then you just sit in the backseat and tell me, yes, I'm good. It's literally, take over. Lord, you take over. I am your vessel. Yes, because you're not physically here to That's do what you want me to do. That's the thing. So obviously like, you need I need you. And body. also like what I wrote here was that um, to, because it creates space for you to gain wisdom, mm. to gain peace, to mm. gain 
um, that this can also be worship because mm. worship is a lifestyle. Yes, it's not. A Do song. we always <laughs> <laughs> worship it is not, is not a just a chord progression? Yeah, yeah can yeah, I yeah. just <laughs> please say it louder for the people <laughs> in the back? Please, uh, because like, like when I drive, Lord, I'm gonna worship you right here. I can talk to you right here, right yes. now. But also in the mm. manner that you drive. Yeah, yo, let's yo, say yo, somebody yo, guys, does something. Guys, guys. Some somebody does something to annoy you on the road. We are human, so sometimes mm. naturally you're like, <laughs> <laughs> but then it's like a form of worship can be like, okay, I can give this person grace yeah. the way God and Christ has yeah. given me grace. That is also some type of form yeah. of worship. Yeah, it's not a and song like or a progression. What I also I think like as like an ending thing. Sorry, y'all. This conversation is so good to Too end. Good. <laughs> But like it takes humility and surrenderance to let him in, because like despite of the outcome, not letting our pride mm -hmm. get the praise first mm -hmm. before God. Because mm -hmm. if I if I like do a project, whether it goes, whether it blows up completely like yay, or whether it's just like ooh, mm. my pride will either be hurt, or it will be soaring. Mm -hmm. And in either way to be like lord it's not about me right now mm. it's not about me if my project failed be like and what determines failure that's, that's a thing another question. that's a thing and like i think you know we we have to be so aware about what failure is because yes. maybe like the project failed mm. but the person you were at the beginning of it and the person you are now you have gained endurance yes. wisdom yes. strength and like all of these things yeah, sure, it failed, but what are the things that you gained in that? Yes, but yeah. also I even heard recently this other guy was speaking in church about how he heard this testimony of a, a person was organizing a huge event, mm. right? A Christian event. Yeah. And um, while they're mm. doing the conference and they're doing also altar call, yeah. they're saying whoever wants to be saved, please come to the front. Yeah. And imagine there's thousands of people, yeah. right? Um, and one person comes yeah. forward, a little, a young child. I think yeah. they're not even 15 yet, yeah. below 15, maybe 10 years old. I can't really remember the technicalities. But the child came forward, yeah. got saved. Yeah. The coordinator of that event s thought that the event was a failure because only one person was saved. Sure. However, he didn't know how many, who got saved because yeah. years later, mm -hmm. that person became one of the biggest influences in in, mm. in the Christian gospel. I think he became a pastor. Is it Bill Graham? Yes. Yo. I was like, like, what's this Bull? name? Why is it <laughs> running away from me? Exactly. Yo. So imagine when yeah. you look 10, 30, 50 years from now, yeah. what he was able to do yeah. um, for Christ. Yeah. Was it really a failure? Yeah. Yo. That is, that's why I'm saying we need to understand what is failure. Yeah. I think failure is not doing God's will. Ooh. God's work. Your that place. is what failure is. It's not about how many people mm. are saved. It's not about how much money you were not able yeah. to raise. It's about, doing if God's you're doing role. God's work, it's n about not doing what God wants. Yeah. Failure is not doing maybe what scripture says. Yeah. Not teaching what f scripture says. Oh, that please. is true failure. Not whether or yeah. not one person was saved or 10 yeah. people were saved. Yeah. So yeah, that's also the other thing that I wanted to add on that. Yeah. Wow, wow, we wow. <laughs> Here we are. I feel like I'm going to end all of them like that. Like, wow, wow, oh, we wow. wow. <laughs> that's that's your slogan. You need to yeah. <laughs> brand it as your own. Please. <laughs> Just be like, wow, wow, we wow. Trademark yes. by Aaron Patience. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so much to V. Yay. Um, thank you so much for watching. And then we will see you guys on the flip side. I feel like I should think about like a cute exit, exit. thing. Yes. But for now... Um, Wow, wow, we wow. wow. <laughs>